Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play the Dark mod. In the previous episode, we had continued snowed in. Our protagonist, or antagonist, Corbin, has found himself drawn into the magical bag that Mr. Bellero was uh, having guarded. It's a bag of holding of some sort, and we got sucked into it when we touched it, or when we looked inside of it, or something of the sort. We need to figure out how to get out of here, though it doesn't look like it would be too tough, because one of the drawstrings dropped inside. But there must be some stuff in here we can put to better use than Mr. Bolero could. We still have that snowman to also put together. Let's go ahead and see if we can get these tasks done. Okay, well, there's nothing inside the flagon of spiced ale he has. Let's see if we can get down there and check amongst the coins. Statue's eyes, an emerald and a diamond. But not added to our loot. I suppose that's a hint as to how we're supposed to use them. I wish. Strange seed. Looks like it was trying to grow in here. Maybe this will help the grain issue Raven Ward's having at the moment. should return them. Return the holy relic to its rightful place. Fill the town's grain silo. Complete the snowmen for the school kids. That's interesting. I had thought Mr. Bellow might be actually a good guy, kind of like um, a Santa Claus come to help the town. He apparently, however, is dealing with all the ill-gotten gains, or some of them, I suppose, from the town, purchasing the holy relic from the thugs. Unless he was intending to give it back. I guess we won't really know that for sure, though, because we're going to give it back for him. Let's wait here for that one guard to come back inside, and then we'll sneak out. Couldn't get me a good all after this. Ooh. <laughs> 
I wouldn't mind dropping the fancy key back off from Mr. Bolero in his room to make it seem like nothing's out of place for a little longer, but we cannot drop the key. It will not let me do so, so no, no making it look like we were ghosting the area. Oh, come on, game. <sighs> Let's just reload. We would have been absolutely fine had uh, the game let me target the gate. suppose instead of going out the gate, we could take the servant's entrance through the kitchen. do this. The church is the easiest one to deliver this to. What? It may be 
the easiest to do. But I think we'll go back in the sewer system. Get back to the pumping station and come out near the schoolhouse. But then you have to come back all this way again. No. It is better off that we... It's better off if we go to the church first. I wonder why some of the items were shrunk in the bag, but others were not. The relic, for example, was maybe there's some sort of ritual he has to do, Mr. Bellarow, to put them, uh, to shrink them, to make more room in the bag. Maybe, maybe it automatically shrinks magical things. the other way. Seeking of one of those guards, it's it's gonna go very poorly for me.
This is, I believe, a far faster way for us to get to the schoolyard, which is, once we're there, very easy to complete the next two tasks. Then we'll double back this way to come out where we just entered the, the sewer system and make our way back upstairs through the area the thief is currently robbing. Robbing? Robbing, burglarizing. To get to the rooftops, to drop back down by our room for the evening. It's good to see that Corbin wants to help out the children in the area. We could very easily just have pawned those gems, probably worth a lot of money too. He's willing to leave them here, and in a snowman nonetheless, for either the schoolmaster to find or the kids the next morning. Hopefully the kids split it, what it's worth with each other. Unfortunately, there's no way over this grating, so we have to go back the way we came, back to the sewer system. That's all of our tasks done, except for the missing letter for our neighbor.
assuming no more problems, a very profitable evening for our Corbin. He's used five broadheads of his own. He's picked up two f fire arrows, very expensive those. He still has one of his moss left, and he grabbed an ice arrow. I believe the ice arrow, because it's set to the same hotkey, must work in a similar fashion to a gas arrow. It probably permanently incapacitates a guard without killing them. I'm imagining it encases them in ice. Or it's a damaging effect for this particular map. We have one rope arrow remaining as well. There is one spot that I did not check, and that's the attic of the schoolyard. It requires a rope arrow to get up there. It's very tricky to get the angle you need to land that rope arrow there, and there was nothing up there when I had explored it off screen. You know, I'm just not going to chance it. He could very well even see me from all the way down there. Yep, when he turns and looks. All right, mission successful. Unless something's waiting for us in our room. I don't think so. And we didn't kill anyone. And we didn't knock anyone out either, I think. Yeah, no one knocked out. No one got injured tonight. Well, except the spiders. All right, everyone. Nice. Well done, me. <laughs> I'm the only one who's going to say it. 716 damage dealt. That was, that was the singular... Well, I guess maybe the broadhead arrows were doing some damage to them, but it didn't look like it. I think, that, I think we needed those fire arrows to do so. Picked one person's pocket. That must have been the key we grabbed off of Bellaro's belt. Getting... Oh, slightly over half the loot, but I was beginning to just leave loot lying around later, since I no longer needed it. We didn't knock out anybody, we didn't kill anyone, and thus there were no bodies to be found. Seven searches, it's the sightings, it's the only thing I really care about. Only seen for three seconds. Stealth score of 46. Okay, 
I'm, I'm going to go with anything below 100 for stealth with challenging AI for vision and hearing is darn good, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, all right, not bad. All right, everyone. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. We will start the Chronicles of Skullduggery 2 at that point. Yep. So I'll see you guys in that one. Thank you for watching this, and take care, everyone.